Hey, what up, what up, what up? What's going on, my glorious people? Happy Sunday. God bless you. I want to take a little bit of time out right now to say thank you from the bottom of my bottomless heart of liking the fan page. Please get the word out there, guys. Please help tell somebody else, tell a friend, and tell a friend, and tell your mama's friend, cousin's friend about the page. Let's get this message out here to the world, to the masses. So for today's message, I want to first show you something first. Come with me first. You guys see that right there? That says row ends. So on this glorious day on Sunday, I only know one person that's willing that can take a day off, and that's God. He works hard 365 days, 366 sometimes in a leap year, 25-8, grinding. But row ends, when one row ends, there's another where another row begins. So I'm going to ask you today, what are you doing that's going to push you closer to your passion, push you closer to your dream? Are you willing to make the necessary sacrifices to get closer to what you need to do to be who you want to be and live in your purpose? Today is watching the NBA, is that getting you closer to your dream? Is watching LeBron getting you closer to your dream? Is waiting for Scandal to come on tonight to, so you can watch Olivia Pope do hoish activities and be a side chick and help promote side chicks when you women out here, my wonderful, beautiful, glorious women, y'all should be queens and not be worse to be looked at like that. Is that gonna get you closer to your dream? I understand it's our entertainment, but we spend so much time entertaining ourselves that we don't have time to entertain what we really need to be doing out here in this world. It's crazy. We'll stand in line for Jordans, but when the opportunity comes for ourselves, we're too busy worrying about Jordans and stuff like that, that we're not willing to see opportunity run past us to get out the line to go get at the line. Matter of fact, we run from the line when it comes for opportunities. Instead of picking up a book that's going to help promote us and that's going to help us become closer to what we need to be and do what we want to do, we'd rather watch TV all day. We'd rather sit there and sleep. What sleep will get you believe you broke, baby? You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody got time for sleep no more. If you can't really sleep too much if you broke, I know I stay up a lot. And I be tired, but you know what I'm saying? I have a grind that's going to help you guys because without no you, there is no me. So again, I'm going to ask you, what are you doing that's going to help push you? That's going to help promote you and help push you towards what you want to do. We'll fight for all the wrong reasons. We'll fight for baby daddies. We'll fight against baby daddies. We'll fight against baby mamas. We'll fight other people for street corners. But will you, are, will, are you willing to sit down and sacrifice and fight for your dream, fight for your passion? We like to expose people on Facebook and Instagram, but we're not willing to promote people. We're not willing to promote positivity. We're not willing to promote success. We run for success. Instead of trying to get, leak up with people and build and mastermind people that can help us write better contracts, that can help us build better schools, have more educational system, help us just create something better for legacies to be learned on, we'd rather do ignorant type stuff. You know what that is. I don't need to sit there and talk about it. We see it all day, every day on Facebook. People, Facebook is like a, like a gossip show, and we're too old for that. You know, but when it comes to doing something great, when it comes to doing something positive, we run from it. But why is that, though? Why is that when it comes to do something great and, so, and time to do something positive, we run from that? But when it's, it has anything to do with drinking or smoking or, you know, trying to, you know, get up on a girl, get up on a dude, we run towards that. What's that doing for us? Nothing. Like, it's really you sitting there watching LeBron play all day. And don't get me wrong, LeBron's a hell of a basketball player, but he made it. We ain't. So why am I going to sit there and waste three hours of my day against my mission to... And he already made it. He making millions. I ain't made nothing yet. So what are you going to do? Again, I'm going to ask you. It's going to help push you past your pain and push you closer to your dream. Together, we united. We can stay strong. We can build phenomenal things. Against each other, we go downfall. And that's what's happening to us. We let society control us and tell us what to do. Society is telling us, no, we can't do this. No, we can't do that. They are still in fear in us. When we was little kids, we wanted to do everything. We wanted to be basketball players. We wanted to be astronauts. We wanted to be scientists. But because somebody, as we got older, kept telling us no, kept telling us that's too hard, kept telling us you'll never be that good, you'll never be this, you can't do that because where you come from, we start to quit. We start to settle. And settle ain't gonna leave, settle, all settling is gonna do is gonna leave you broke. Or in other words, leave you, lead you to where the road ends. So, where, road, where one road ends, are you willing to create your own path? Are you willing to follow somebody else's path? And that's gonna lead you down to another road end. And then follow another person's path that's gonna lead you down to another road that's gonna end. Are you willing to get up off your feet? Get up out here and grind and make something happen for you and yourself? I ask you, matter of fact, I challenge you, ask tomorrow, don't go into work pissed and mad and, you know, I hate Mondays, go into work saying I love Mondays because any day above ground is a day worth loving and it's wonderful. And I ask you again, I challenge you, matter of fact, 
instead of going in Monday, matter what you go go that's gonna help you, that's gonna promote you to help make you better for that for that job in that position. What do you go do that's gonna set yourself aside from the rest, where you can be more recognized, where you can get that promotion, where you can matter of fact find you another job? Are you willing to take today and I watch basketball and these little TV shows that come on every Sunday that you can DVR, you can get on Netflix in a couple months? And are you go willing to put in more applications? Are you willing to go study harder for that test? Are you willing to do whatever you need to do to get to where you want to go? Or are you going to sit back and let life pass you by? The choice is yours, people. This is Jedi Robinson, the commander in chief of the alien invasion. Video number one. Let's go, y'all. I thank you and I love y'all. God bless.